And finally, new rule, the next time you hear someone say, you may be cursed to live in interesting times, punch them in the face. <laughs> because after two years of Trump chaos, that line isn't cute anymore. In fact, you have my blessing, as your political rabbi, <laughs> to take the rest of the year off from following politics. But... But not till next week, because we have one more show. <laughs> But, but, <laughs> but 2018 has been a year, I think, in which we all asked ourselves, how could something seem so endless and yet also go by so fast? It's like if Quentin Tarantino made Gone with the Wind and you're watching it on an airplane and the airplane is crashing into a mountain. <laughs> of cocaine. <laughs> Trump is the Santa Claus of chaos, and every night is Christmas Eve. He's somehow everywhere in the world, only he's not bringing you anything, he's breaking the shit you already have. <laughs> oh, that's him on the roof. Now he's coming down the chimney and eating your cookies. Now he's kissing mommy and grabbing her pussy. <laughs> he's the gift that never stops taking. <laughs> Each morning, you confront the news with the same thought Stormy Daniels said she had when Trump sat down next to her on the bed. Ugh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> By the way, Michael Cohen paid Stormy to go away, but Stormy did not go away. She stuck to Trump all year like toilet paper on a shoe. <laughs> anyway. Every day, it seems like it's the same thing. You open your news feed, Facepalm. In fact, I think as long as Trump is president, the facepalm should replace the handshake as a way for two people greeting each other to acknowledge, yes, everything is a shit show, and no, there's nothing new to say about it. Hey, Bob, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. <laughs> now, all year long, and going back to before the election, I have been calling the Trump phenomenon a slow-moving coup. Well, this week, it started moving a little faster. Matthew Whitaker, this is what I'm talking about. In third-world dictatorships, the chief law enforcement officer's main qualification is he doesn't enforce the law. Officials of independent mind are hounded out or shoved aside. This isn't a cabinet anymore. It's the Queen's corgis. <laughs> Whitaker wants to shut down the Russian investigation, despite the fact that in March, against the advice of everyone, Trump called Putin to congratulate him on winning his election, and also our election. <laughs> he, then, he then met Putin in July, and that meeting, secret. His deal with Kim Jong-un, secret. His taxes, secret. What is happening to America? We know less about our government than what goes into jerky. <laughs> in in mid-2017, I first read you my dictator checklist. But since this week is the week we now have added, install your personal protector as head of the Justice Department, after adding in September, install your personal protector on the highest court, Let's review the dictator list one more time. You're a narcissist who likes to see his name and face on buildings. You appoint family members to positions of power. You hold rallies even when you're not running and they are scary. <laughs> you talk about jailing the press and political opponents. You want to hold military parades and muse openly about being president for life. You use your office for personal financial gain. You love other dictators. You lie so freely your supporters don't know what the truth is anymore and don't care. For a coup to work, it is first necessary for truth itself to be destroyed, as well as the people who try to report it. So the dictator is free to say anything and his followers believe it. Adding to that dictator checklist, we now have state TV in this country, an actual propaganda channel where the reporters openly endorse the leader, and we have people who oversee the elections they are running in. 
In August of this year, Trump's semi-liquid mob mouthpiece, <laughs> Gooey Giuliani, said, truth isn't truth. Ah, this has been Deep Thoughts with Nosferatu. <laughs> Truth isn't truth. So truth isn't truth. The press is the enemy of the people. There are alternative facts. There's no proof of anything. What you see and hear isn't what's happening. And you know, at some point people go, you know what, fine, fuck it. Truth isn't truth, facts aren't facts. What I see isn't happening, nothing is real, and nothing to get hung about. Strawberry fields forever. <laughs> Please pass the joint or some crack, because I can still reason and it hurts.